if you're a vegan or vegetarian or don't really want to know where your meat comes from, time to turn away. But whether it's concerns about meat supply shortages or COVID impacting packing plants, increasingly Americans are uh, <coughs> going local. They're buying meat directly from ranchers and uh, having it processed by private butchers, cutting out the middleman, so to speak. The COVID thing has really set off a panic. Uh, now, Kent Short it runs a private butcher business. He used to be mobile and go directly to the ranches. Now he has a shop set up here in Santa Paula. This meat is not for resale. The animals are brought in for the owners, whether it's the rancher or the customer who has bought the animal. He says business is doubled thanks to Americans who are really trying to buy meat directly this way for the first time. People are calling me from all over the Southland. I mean, it's not just local here. I mean, I have people coming in here from 100, 120, 130 miles away. This is a London broil. Now, among the customers buying meat this way is James Brown of Durham, North Carolina. This is his ranch direct beef, which he bought due to supply and safety concerns. We'll just be buying from this local producer from here on out. I have no intention going back to the grocery store. Now, uh, meat bought this way can be more expensive, though not necessarily. And since it's not for resale, all private, there is no need for a USDA meat inspector, though there are some state rules here in California. Plus, guys, Kent Short says nobody here has gotten COVID. Back to you. Jane, thank you. <laughs> Jane Wells. You're welcome. And her gown and her mask and her cap and everything else.